We're digging deeper into allegations made against Liberty University that say the school failed for years to keep its campus safe. Those allegations are stated in a report by the Washington Post. Those reporters say the information comes from the Department of Education. WFXR's Anna McDougal joins us now live from Lynchburg. She's been looking into this report all day today. Anna, you talked with a lawyer about those claims. What did you find out? True and Kathleen, well, the report says that Liberty University failed to comply with federal expectations when it comes to disclosing information on crimes. The lawyer I spoke with earlier says that this could lead to some serious repercussions. The Clary Act is a federal law which requires colleges to disclose crime statistics for incidents that happen on or near campus, and these crimes must be kept in a public crime log. According to the Washington Post, Liberty University is accused of discouraging people from reporting crimes and underreporting crimes that people did report. The Post states that findings from an education department inquiry shows the school failed to warn students about everything from bomb threats to credible acts of sexual violence. However, LU responded to the Post disputing some of the information, saying in part that it wouldn't comment because the report made claims on information that it calls, quote, false, not final, and not public. Attorney John Fishwick says colleges are supposed to keep annual Clary reports that can be reviewed at any time by the Department of Education, but says violations are usually found through word of mouth. Typically, this information will come from victims who feel underserved by the college or university. This comes, the report says, while the school was marketing themselves as one of the safest campuses in the nation. And if sustained, the violations could come at a cost. There can be a, a pretty significant government fine. Then the ultimate power of the federal government is to say, well, uh, we're going to suspend you from participating in, in federal financial aid programs. Fishwick says while it is rare that a school be suspended from participating in loan programs, it is still possible. Liberty also states that they acknowledge gaps in compliance with the Clary Act from 2016 to 2022 and made what they call significant advancements in security, prevention and awareness since October 2022. Now, Liberty also said in the statement that they released that some of the preliminary findings had significant errors, misstatements, and unsupported conclusions. They say they're going to be working with the Department of Education to address any concerns. Live in Lynchburg, Anna McDougall, WFXR News.